All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got another job on now, uh, another bit of uh, electrostatic flocking, but with this job, we'll be doing quite a bit of repair work on it. So here's the dash that we received from the customer. And um, this is off an old classic Esco Mark III. Um, I'm not sure it's an RS Turbo or RS 600i, but it's the, uh, the vinyl um, foam backed uh, finish. And these are horrendous for, they crack in the heat. And once they start cracking, moisture gets into them and they just start warping, distorting. Uh, so you can see that they've actually, it's just changed shape completely around the bent area. And it's just got covered in cracks. And also this main binnacle top, I don't know if you can see that, it's actually, it's actually bowing in now. It's, uh, it's totally lost its shape. So uh, all that's got to be repaired. So uh, the plan of action is to, um, we can't just, you can't just put, well you could, you could just put body filler over these cracks, sand them down and then flock over that, but that wouldn't solve the problem. They'd always come back, um, the cracks would never be fully repaired, they'd always separate and crack. So what I tend to do is I tend to grind out all the uh, cracks to get about a two to five mil uh, cavity. Um, also drill at each end of the cracks so doesn't crack any more lengthways. Then I'll use a special uh, panel bond adhesive with the special ratio mix that leaves it flexible so that when this dash flexes, the adhesive that's holding the two sides together flexes with it as one. It just remove, well, it just helps reduce the chance of it cracking again in the future. Then once I've done these repairs, I'll then use the same panel bond just to skim over here. I might use a, a GRP panel just to take up most of this concave to build it up quicker and not add too much weight. I then just finish it off with that panel bond just to get a nice, flat, smooth surface for it. And then just try and tidy up these bits where the uh, you know the, the cardboard foam back in is just it's just starting to delaminate. It's it's just um it's just a tired dashboard. But I mean, this has got to be it's got to be thirty odd years old. I, I'm guessing. Um, but yeah, this is what happens with it. So let's best get on with that and um, hope you enjoy the video and uh, let's get going. Okay, so that's the first part of the repair done. So we've ground out the uh, uh, the problem cracks, uh, gone quite deep with them. Then we've cleaned them up, put a slight little chamfer on the edges um, with the, uh, the the sanding disc, and now we've just put some uh, adhesive in there now, and I've just given it a bit of a clean up. Now you can still see um, the cracks are visible, but what the purpose of this is? It's like your first application of um, uh, the bonding agent. This is just to hold it all together. Once we've got this all nicely bonded and secure, then we can start getting the profile back um, 
on these areas to make it look aesthetically pleasing. But this is the main thing, that's like the structural part of it. So uh, I'm just gonna leave that now till tomorrow. Uh, hopefully it'll be fully cured by then. Then we can start adding some more uh, product onto it to get that profile back. And I think I might look about making either a, a carbon fiber or a, or a fiberglass panel just to, just to sit in here. To save me trying to use um, a product to build it up, I can just offer the plate up here. It'll give me that nice flat contour again and just seal it up around the edges. And um, yeah, I think that's the most economical way of doing it without adding silly amounts of weight. But yeah, let's come back tomorrow and crack on. You held me back when I tried to move on from your life So you stole my life but clearly So hold me back, now you're here Cause I'm mad, show no fear Wanna let you know just how it felt Okay, so that's the um, the repair panel all put in. I've just put like a, a sheet of carbon fiber on it. Uh, this is a cord piece of carbon fiber. It just meant it saved a lot of time um, building it up with you know with the uh, with flexible resin. It's got most of it all up now. So I've just joined it all in now with the um, uh, with the uh, the panel bond resin I've used. And you can see it's got a nice uh, nice flat finish to it. No more sagging. It's all smoothed in now. So what I'm going to be doing now is uh, just put a, a layer of epoxy resin over the top and uh, that's going to act as like um, it's going to give me a nice sort of uh, surface to work with before flocking it's also flexible as well so it'll, it'll move with the dash when it needs to but uh, it's took a bit of time to get to where we are now with it but um, no I'm really happy with that uh, you might be thinking why I did the repair underneath even though I was going to put that plate the carbon plate on top you wouldn't see those cracks I just prefer to know that whatever damage was there has been rectified and then it's, it shouldn't cause any issues in the future if you leave them and you don't know what it's going to do but it's going to cause any problems um, further down the line so yeah let's get on with it let's get another layer of resin down on it let that go off then we can start with the flocking so let's carry on right so this is now repaired so lovely and flat, mega smooth, all nicely laminated now with some epoxy resin. I've also sealed these edges up here. Uh, I just put some uh, resin inside it and then use some clamps just to go over the top and that um, that's held it in place. Uh, but there's one thing I'm really worried about and I'll just, uh, I'll show you what I'm on about now. I've never seen a dashboard this, ba this bad since, uh, since doing these. Flip upside down. Right, so have a look at this. So that was supposed to be on this surface and it's just warped and distorted and shrunk. It's just completely the wrong shape now. Um, so it didn't want to even sit flat. So, only thing I can think of doing is just sort of clamping it as short as I can and just starting to add a little bit of fiberglass, but I've got to be so careful because there's um, the demister venter down there. So I don't want the resin to flow down and then start sealing them up. And it can come out and start damaging the out the, uh, the, uh, the good side of the dashboard underneath here. I don't want it to do that. So it's going to be a bit of a tricky one, but it's worth having a go. I mean, well, it can't be any worse than what it is. I mean, just look at it. Absolutely shocking. But if we can somehow get this sealed up, at least then it'll still function like a proper dashboard. You know, it'll still be able to use your demisters, that sort of thing. Uh, so let's see how we get on then. 
Crack on. So, what I've decided to do is I've just put these little, uh, these clamps on here. I've just pull that uh, that duct down towards the dash, and I've used some um, uh, woven fiberglass, um, simply because I can I can wet out that that fiberglass uh, away from the uh, the dash on on a table, so that when I offer it up to the well, as you've seen, as I offer it up to the dash, I'm not trying to work resin through it. It's already got the resin impregnated in it, so it's there's less chance of that resin running into the dash and coming out of the vents. Um, and it's also quite, in, it's, it's quite neat, it takes up no space at all. So the plan is just to glass up these bits and hopefully this time tomorrow, uh, when I remove these clamps, the duct should stay where it is, uh, I hope. And then I can just fill in the gaps with the same method again. And then what that'll mean is the dash will operate as a normal dash. So when you put the demisters on, the screen should be demisted, yeah, which is quite an important thing with a dash, especially on a road car. But uh, there's, there really is not much else I can think of that we could do with this besides having to cut it out and reposition it. And it all, everything has a cost. I'm just trying to keep the cost down on this repair. But um, no, I'm, I'm pretty confident it's going to work. But uh, it's getting late now. It's coming. It's getting dark outside. And I'm, I'm starving. So I'm going to call it a day uh, and come back tomorrow. So see you in the morning. Right, so it's the next day, and um, all this fiberglass now has completely gone off. It's nice and solid, uh, nice and neat. As we're not sanding anything back yet, but it's uh, it's adhered to the dash just how I wanted it. So we've just got to see if it there's any movement when I take away these uh, these clips. No, it's not going nowhere. So that's exactly what I want is now. So we've got the duct in, uh, the duct routing's all nice and solid there now. So all I'm gonna do now is just continue what I did with the, this area, this area, and just fill in the gaps. That means that will be, uh, there'll be no um, no gaps for the air to escape when the demisters are on. And it just means this dash will then function as it did when it came out of the factory. So let's just uh, finish up this glassing and then uh, we're ready to get some flock on it. So let's get some more glass on it. Right, so uh, I think we're done now with the repair work. So all the black, the back's all glassed up now. Uh, so the demisters work perfectly. Then all the ducting is now back to as it should be. Um, so now it's just a case of uh, getting the, uh, the top the top surface all nice and clean and prepped, ready for uh, we're fucking. I'll remove the um, uh, the side window demisters, uh, give them a clean, then get the surface all nice and uh, get rid of any contamination, and then uh, we can get in the booth and. Get it flocked, so uh, yeah, let's get it flocked. Listen, just give me a chance. I know that we can find our love again. Now, hear me, just one more dance. Cause I know we can make it right again. And I know you're the one I've been looking for. And I know you're the one for me. So, baby, I'm reaching. For your love
Okay, so that's it now, all finally done. And I think it's looking pretty good. Looking nice and solid, nice and level. No more sinking um, sagging bits in the top. Uh, I've cleaned up the uh, the window demisters now, and they've. Uh, I think just having a little bit of a uh, like black plastic against the flock just helps make the flock pop a little bit more. It just creates a nice little bit of contrast. But um, I'm really happy with that. Got a nice finish, and also the duct work at the back. That's all repaired now. So when it's back on track, at least you'll be able to demist the windows, which is nothing worse than that. But no, well. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the content. Um, I'll queue up some funky music for you and a few cinematics of um, the finished job. But um, yeah, thanks for watching and thanks for the support. And I'll see you in the next video. So cheers. See you soon.